WrestleMania, how you doing? Championships, how you doing? But a boom, realest guys in the room. So if you haven't guessed by now, I'm gonna be talking about wrestling. Uh, it was about two weeks ago, something like that, two or three weeks ago. Uh, WrestleMania tickets went on sale. I'm going, my brothers are going, my dad's going, my cousins are going, my uncles are going. There's a lot of people going, but me and my dad went to go get the tickets for everyone. And you know, you would think it'd be start off kind of simple. It was like a pre-sale, and they had like a bunch of wrestlers there. They had pretty much all of NXT there, uh, and I could ring inside downtown Orlando, and they would do like a couple matches there. So like, oh, it'd be really cool for us to go and get the tickets on pre-sale. Because one, when they go on regular sale, like it's gonna be really hard to get tickets, I would feel. I got out of school, my dad picked me up from my house and we left, we left to downtown Orlando to go get some tickets. And we left pretty early. They said the doors didn't open until six. So we were there at like 4.50, two hours before it was supposed to. And there was a decent line. It wasn't very, it wasn't as long as I expected. And we got in line, we got our little wrist, wristband that they gave us and I was number 266 my dad was 267 so that's how many people were in front of us 265 people were in front of us the line starts to move because they actually opened end up ended up opening the doors at five instead of six so it's a good thing that we showed up a little bit early and two and a half hours later Roughly two and a half hours later We get to the front of the line finally we need Seven tickets I believe because the max was eight we need seven tickets and the cheapest seats possible Because we all agreed we just want to go we just want to be there We don't really care where we're sitting as long as we're there to have fun So they're like we're completely sold out of the cheapest tickets and for seven tickets and we're like uh, okay, how about the next most expensive ticket? So it went from 58 to 75. Like, are there any $75 tickets that are all seven together? They say no. We don't know what to do at this point. So my, uh, me and my dad, we continue to ask, we're like, okay, how about if we break it up to like five and two, four and three? Like, we don't need all seven together, but if we get like five and two, if you can get like two rows together, or if you can get three and four, two rows together. The lady says, all right, I'll look into what I can do. Somehow she finds seven seats available all together in the cheapest section possible. And we're like, well, where are those seats located? For the seven tickets, we, again, it was the cheapest one, but we would be all the way in the top corner here, all the way in the top. So my dad's like, okay, well, can we do the five and two or the four and three in the $75 ticket range? And the lady's talking to us and she's like, well, the thing is, I can look for those tickets, but by looking for the tickets in the $75 range, I'm forfeiting the tickets that I, um, I'm saving you right now in that spot. So she's like, well, what do you want to do? Do you want to like, forfeit the tickets and look for ones in the $75 range, or do you want to just take the $65 tickets? And my dad looks at me and I'm like, ba, I don't care. I just want to be there. I just, I think it would just be fun to attend. You're the one putting all the money into it. You're the one financing this. Ultimately, it's your decision. Like I told you, I'm totally okay with wherever we sit. I just want to be there because it's freaking WrestleMania. And if you're a wrestling fan, that's the one event you want to go to. So after a couple of minutes of like debating whether we, what we should do or not, my dad's like, you know what? Okay, let's just get the cheapest tickets. So we're actually holding for us. Let's not risk it because if we let go of these tickets, we check the $75 tickets and they don't have those either we might not be able to get those seven tickets back. Let's just get them. I'm like, all right, cool, fine, we're happy. We go and we're walking out and the wrestlers are starting to come out. Booker T's in the ring, Charlotte's in the ring, Sasha Banks is in the ring, Big Cass is in the ring, Cesaro's in the ring, they're all talking. Can you do the dance? Can you do the Enzo? What? Can you do the Enzo? Back to the car and he calls his wife and he starts to tell, hey, we got the tickets. You know what? It's not in the best section, but like Isaiah and I kind of came to agreement like we don't really care where we sit. We just kind of want to be there. She's like, oh, well, how much did you pay for them in total? You got seven tickets, right? She's like, and we're like, yeah, I came out to like 500 and something dollars, but um, they're going to give us the money for the tickets. And she's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Seven tickets times $58 is not 
five hundred and something. That's four. That's like four hundred and eleven dollars. We did the math and we were overcharged a hundred dollars. So I'm like, all right, Bob, let's not stress about it. Let's just walk back. We'll talk to them. They'll fix it. No stress. We got it. Stress-free environment. So that's exactly what we end up doing. So we got out of the parking garage, walked all the way back to the line, and we're like, okay, um, is there a way that we can get this problem fixed? We paid for the cheapest tickets available, but they were they charged us over an extra hundred dollars. Is there any way that we can come down to the bottom of this? We're like, yes. Let me wait for a manager. A manager comes out and is like, all right, hi, what can I do for you? We tell them the situation again. We pay too much money. We got these tickets times seven. It comes up to this. And just to clarify, the $58 we asked, the $58 includes the ticket price and like all the extra sales tax on top of that and like, like the convenience fees or whatever. It's all included. So 58 is the total price. There is no extra charges on top of that. They're like, okay, let's see what we can do. They're looking for it, they're looking for it, they're looking for it. They're like, okay, we found the problem. The thing is, I guess whenever the lady was showing us the seven seats, she never clicked to hold them for us. So when we finally agreed on getting this, the $58 seats, the cheapest ones in the very top corner of the arena, they bumped her to the $75 tickets, still in the very top corner of that arena. And my dad's like, okay, I don't mind paying $58 to sit up there in that small corner where the wrestlers are gonna look like ants, but I'm not paying $75 to sit up in that corner. So then more people have to come out. And um, we have to talk to them. We're like, we were told we were getting $58 tickets. This is not our this is not our fault. It's um, unfortunately it's the company's fault. What can we do about it? Because we shouldn't really have to suffer for their mistakes. And they're like, okay, let's see what we can do, let's see what we can do. They come back again. Unfortunately, all this all the yellow seats, which are the $58 seats. All the yellow seats are sold out. Is there any other seven tickets available in the blue price? They look, they look, they look, they say no. Ultimately, what, what it comes down to is they found us seven tickets right in the middle of the ring where the wrestlers face for the camera and the $75 tickets and my dad was ecstatic. I don't know what they did. Maybe they were just trying to lie, saying that they didn't have tickets, they didn't want to give it up. I don't know. But we settled for those. We didn't um, get any money back. We didn't um, pay any extra money. And we got really good seats for the $75 area. And that whole thing from start to finish, from standing in line to leaving the actual parking garage and going home, took about four or five hours. And I know through a camera and through my storytelling, it's kind of hard to be like, well, you know, it wasn't that bad. All this happened, but it was like the time in between each section was ridiculous. It's like we waited in line for two and a half hours. We got the tickets. We go to the car. We find out that it's wrong. We walk all the way back. We wait for someone. We wait for another person. We wait for them to come back and tell us what's happening. It was just a very long waiting process. And it's just like, could this have gone more wrong? But in the end, everything was fixed, and we're going to WrestleMania, and I'm really hoping Goldberg is there. I'm super excited. April 2nd, I will be there, this camera will be there, and you will see what's up. This is me saying this video is over. Bye! Hey, I, I think that, I think Booker should do the Scaroni. Hey, I think Booker should do a spinneroni in front of right, right? Hey, DJ, hit Booker's music! Man, it'll spinneroni. Get out here. gentlemen royalty is in the house give it up for charlotte man it feels good to stand in a ring with an nxt banner again it's been a while For WrestleMania 33, Charlotte, what does it mean to you to be able to to perform 
at WrestleMania 33 to, to have WrestleMania here in Orlando. Um, NXT obviously, uh, I guess, came about in Orlando, so it's our backyard basically. And to know that I will be in NXT's backyard at WrestleMania. A cappella? No! Right. Come, come, give me, can I get Carmella's music? Hit that music, man! S A B U L O U A. Come on, y'all! Yeah! Uh huh! Break it up! S A B U L O U S, yes! Diamond! Yo, what?